TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we want to talk about is the MOVE instruction. And this is a very useful instruction for being able to modify preset values in timers and counters and it has a number of other functions within higher level programming. So it's real good to get a firm grasp on how the move instruction works. So what I've done is set up a very basic timer instruction. I have previous videos that show you how to set up a timer on delay with uh, just like this. So um, I went ahead and already created it. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to do something different that we haven't done yet. We are going to actually put a tag in the preset value, a tag memory location that doesn't go directly to an input. So I'm going to call this timer one preset. Okay? Let's give it that tag name. Okay? And then what I want to do is I want to define this tag in the memory location here that I'm giving is totally fine. So I'll just hit define here. Now what this does is this gives me a location where I can move different values to. Okay? So now what I, I now I don't have a preset time at this time. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over to, I'm going to expand out uh, my instructions. I'm going to expand the move operation. And what we want to grab here is just the move instruction. I'm going to drag this down to a separate rung, net, or network, network 2. And um, I want to put an input in front of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the left yellow push button. And when the ye left yellow push button is activated, it will move whatever is located in the in instruction to the out instruction. So let's go ahead and put four seconds in the in second, in the end, which would be 4,000 because everything in the timer is based off of um, one millisecond, is a multiple of one millisecond. And then for my output, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and tag the timer preset. So what will happen is whenever this is true, it will move this four seconds into my timer preset, and then that's how long my timer will time for. Now, just having one move instruction isn't very useful if you're trying to control the preset of a counter or a timer. You could just put that value into the preset. So usually when you have one move instruction, you also have a second move instruction. So what we want to do is grab another input, and another move instruction here. So now we'll tag this to the right yellow latching push button. Tag I already created and I have videos showing you how to create all of these tags. And I will put a six second value in here to my out uh, for this. So if this is activated, the preset timer will go to 4,000. And this it'll preset to 6,000. So now what I want to do is just type in timer, select the PT value here, and so now if I activate this push button, six seconds will drop into the preset value, or if I hit the left yellow push button, four seconds will go into the preset value. And this will give me the ability to control how much time is set, the preset is set to. So let's go ahead and download this, and we'll see how it operates. So now what I want to do is go ahead and select the monitor on function. So I'm going to come over here and notice that there is no time in my preset value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the left yellow push button momentarily and notice that four seconds is now brought up to that timer. If I select the yellow latching push button on the right side, Notice, six seconds has been brought to there, okay? If I activate the left yellow, four seconds. If I activate the right yellow, six seconds. So I'm going to activate the uh, left yellow and put four seconds in the preset. 
and activate the green latching push button. And four seconds later, the white light turns on. Then I'll deactivate this. That will reset my preset, my accumulated, back to zero. Activate the left yellow push button. That'll bring a six into my preset value. Activate my right green uh, latching push button. And six seconds later, my white light will activate. All right. And this is how the move instruction works um, in the in the TIA portal V114 uh, using a Siemens S712 PLC on the TII Technical Education's Siemens PLC and HMI trainer.